So yesterday the gossip doing round was Shoaib Malik announcing his third marriage with a Pakistani actress. Now as an Indian, I was pretty concerned what will be the fate of Sanya Mirza and why did she even go and marry in Pakistan? People were busy fighting against each other India, Pakistan, the citizens fighting. But do we even go to the legality of the thing? Do we even try to go into that? No, we do not. So let us go through the entire process. So what happened was in the evening, Sanya Mirza's father issued a statement that Sanya Mirza had pronounced Khula on Shoe Malik before his marriage, before his third marriage. So what is Khula? Khula is a divorce at the instance of wife. What happens is if a wife feels that I don't want to continue my marriage with this person. So what she does is she offers a consideration. Consideration means she gives him something. Mostly women what they do is right the right to dower. They give him the right. They say that we don't want the dower, we do not want it. But free me from this marriage. So this is what Sanya Mirza has done. So she has foregone, she gave him some consideration and at the instance of Sanya Mirza, when Shoaib Malik agreed to it, their divorce was finalized. So there are two types of divorces in Islam which happen or Sharia law you can say, which happen with the consent of parties. First is Khula. In this case, as I have mentioned, it is a divorce which wife initiate karti hai, or it is said a divorce at the instance of wife jo apna koi right unhe de di hai, ya koi consideration unhe de di hai, and in return the husband agrees to it and Khula gets fi finalized. And second is Mubarat. Mubarat is a divorce in which when both the parties, husband and wife, they feel we have such irreconcilable differences that we can't live together and we should not live together. So this is how uh, they decide, they fight, uh, they you know, uh, divorce each other mutually, go to the Imam and divorce each other. And both, the di both these divorces, I should mention this clearly, you do not have to knock the doors of the court because in other laws, you see, even if the divorce is mutual, you go and you uh, sign a petition uh, and uh, submit it in the court and then your divorce finalized. Hota hai. But in these cases, you do not have to go because these are the forms of divorces which are there in Sharia law, which is, you know, a, a cust kind of which was a customary law. So you do not have to go to the court for that. So what are your views on such divorces which still exist in Sharia law wherein the doors of the court have not, you do not have to knock them. You just have to do it on your own. This is your own thing. So what is, what are your views about it? And also, do you think in this scenario or looking at whatever, like you see, you saw triple talaq was abolished and everything. Do you think there is a need for uniform civil code at this moment or not please comment your views down below and have a nice day thank you